and I'm a clinical facilitator so I'm more involved with the clinical um, component of the module and really I hope I will get to that stage that Mrs. Vitboy is a champion because uh, I'm really not up to date with technology and I really just came to know about email and uh, uh, um, um, you know I couldn't do an email I was scared of this, the laptop. Uh, I, I didn't know anything about these things, so I'm really out of my comfort zone, but I'm learning. I'm learning fast. And uh, I'm glad that I can be part of the focus group of Mrs. Willemser. She's w busy with a PhD and, um, and research into mobile devices. So, um, I'm, um, and because of that, I'm learning a lot too. And, um, I've uh, been introduced to Ikamba and uh, Noreen and K Carolyn. Carolyn. Um, they are helping us, um, helping me personally to uh, gain lots of experience. Um, but um, what I must uh, explain to you is my experience with WhatsApp. Um, what they did uh, uh, with, the, uh, with the training, they taught us how to um, create a Gmail account and um, how to email and um, uh, many other things. But uh, my focus was just to, 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 to know the ins and outs of a Gmail account and also um, how to respond uh, 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 on email. I know there's some people that uh, uh, this, what you're talking about, we are the experts in these things. But just be with me, please. Um, you know, and also how to work in Google Drive. So uh, uh, what Mrs. Willems wanted to do, she wanted to send us the survey so that we can complete it about um, the mobile devices that is used uh, by students. <coughs> and um, so after the training, I could do the survey. And um, what happened with me is that uh, why I'm using WhatsApp, um, it's because uh, when I go to the students in the clinical practice, uh, um, I take the, the numbers and then uh, so that I can contact them about any queries or information they want to know. So that so I said, you know, it's expensive to keep on phoning you. Uh, she said, man, but you can use WhatsApp. I said, what's WhatsApp? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's on your device, ma'am. I said, okay, now show me. And now I'm the expert. <laughs> It's available. Some students don't even have a mobile device that has got WhatsApp. So they must, they must get the message from their colleagues. So it, for me, it's easy to use because um, if they want to know something, I can, I can tell them beforehand. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. We're going to do this and that and the other. So be prepared. And then when I come there, they are prepared. So it helps me and it helps the student. But not only that. You know, uh, 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 the benefits of, I know there's a lot of applications, but I'm just talking about WhatsApp. It benefits me is that, uh, how it benefits me is that um, it uh, contributes, the, contributes towards the relationship that I have with my students. We don't only share information about what we must do, about the clinical component, but we also, um, any queries that they have with the lecturer in the classroom, any queries, Ma'am, I don't understand what the lecturer, sorry, lecturer, has seen. <laughs> Could you clarify this for me, please? Then I can quickly WhatsApp them and tell them about it. And, 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 and um, you know, it's not only uh, information about the classroom, uh, uh, about the, the work. It's also emotional support. Yes. Lots of our students have a lot of problems. Yes. So they, they will send me a message. I will encourage them, motivate them, and, 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 and because of that, our relationship has improved with lots of the, all my students, and that enhances their learning. Yes. Yeah. Because if they see somebody is interested in, 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 in the emotional uh, 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 part of their being, 
they also learn quicker. You know, they become more zealous about the subject that they are doing. And um, um, I can send them uh, 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 jokes. And they send jokes back to me. But besides that, I use WhatsApp because it's easy for me to use. It's cheap and it's available for our students. Yeah. And you know, like one student sent me a, 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 on his WhatsApp profile or something, the picture. Uh, um, I went into it and I saw him lying on the bed like that. <laughs> so I said, and what's happening here? No, man, I'm relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> and that concludes our presentation. Thank you. <laughs> It's just a comment. I feel it needs to be interrogated further. Some, earlier on, somebody asked about uh, a lecturer who is with the students for four hours online as uh, opposed to when you're with them for two hours in class in terms of the time that you spend with students. And this presenter now, she's telling us about how much she really spends time with students. And she gives us objective <coughs> reasons because uh, t time is running very fast and information is too much and if we are to enhance the learning of students we are to keep up and I know we do need our personal space and our personal time with our families and everything else so my comment is we, we really as educators of this era need to look at that and and figure out how we can keep up with it because to say that you are closing down now this is my time and you, you are discrepancing the students who are learning, who are in the learning process. I also uh, came across this thing where students are sending me information on WhatsApp, maybe like in the night. If I'm awake, I respond. If I'm not, it's not a problem. So now during break, I was asking uh, my colleague that do we maybe need to have, uh, I know the university will have a policy around this technology that can be used, maybe Facebook or whatever. So if students come to use anything else that is outside what is allowed within the, the, the institution, so what do you do? Do you overlook and pretend as if it's not there or you interact because, you know, it, because students are not having the same tech, um, um, appli applications that you can use or the, the, the gadgets. So I, I just want to say uh, to enhance students' learning, there's so much of juggling and compromising mm -hmm. that needs to happen on our side, then we can really do justice for students. Thank you uh, for that, ma'am. And I think across South Africa now in higher education, there's debates now. How much time people are spending on that? That's mm -hmm. part of the professional development as well as working time. Yes. You know, women are starting to ask why can't I also be at home and teach sometimes? And mm -hmm. I'm a mother, I'm a etc. So, and I was listening to the speaker and I was thinking, when do you speak? <coughs> and for years we asked him for online tutors. For some of the or so in that field. It's not just the lecturer. We're asking the, 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 the leaders that the lecturer needs support, not only for the face to face tutorials. It's specialized skills. We can create work. We can teach these graduates to be online tutors. That's what other universities are, are doing. So maybe we, we should get together and drive that. You need somebody to take over online. Yeah, yeah that reminds me now of something. This, <coughs> the university policy that says you need to be on campus for mm. four days. <coughs> I think that policy needs to be uh, challenged. We need to talk about that because they, you don't have to be mm. on campus. <laughs> we need productivity. You can be productive wherever you are. So that policy is outdated. Needs to be challenged. Uh, Sally and Nitsa, I just want to add to that. If you, if you, I talked about the flexible learning and teaching program. Those are exactly the issues that is part of that thing. And is we have on Ikamba a presence and very nice rich, uh, resources. And at the conference that we attended and where we delivered papers at Sc in Scotland in June, one of the very interesting uh, papers was when is work work making the invisible visible, you know, those hours and stuff. So there's a rich resources. We've got the project manager in our midst, Vernon Bites, 
And if you really want to, the, a report of 35% is one of the crucial issues because we're looking at principles of this flexible provision. So I would like to suggest that you become part of that and look at those resources. So we'd like this group, yep. um, there's a flexible learning group on the Kampa. And let's start asking these questions, Lada, and then adding to it, uh, our voices should be heard. Yes, sir. My, my issue with, with WhatsApp is the same as with Facebook. It blurs the line between the professional and, and, and the personal. Um, you can post personal things on, uh, on WhatsApp, and, and you have to give out your telephone number. Uh, I don't want my students to call me at 10 at night or whatever the case may be. So. Yeah. That's, these are the concerns. I mean, we, yeah. we draw the, the line. We, we are human, we have children, we, we have elderly parents that we need to take care of now. Things are changing and um, yeah. I don't want anybody in my Facebook space. So what life do I have on, outside e-learning? Uh, you, you start questioning yourself. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I think one of the things that students said in the focus group that I liked about um, WhatsApp is it's anonymous. You just see the number and you might not recognize the number. Mm -hmm. So that kind of gives them the, the, the freedom to ask whatever questions they want to ask. But the one thing that we also discussed in the Facebook, in the, in the, in the focus group discussions is um, time limitations. Yeah. When is who available? As, and, and one of the things we said that we're going to structure is that for this time period, your lecture and clinical facilitator will be available, mm -hmm. but after hours it will be peer support. And the lecturer and clinical facilitator will respond the next day. And I think this is exactly what the speaker highlighted. It was just another tool supplementing yes. the others. She had, they have their structured course, they have their structured. But this was almost, and a lot of administrative uh, uh, questions and then the, the support. So it's a basket of tools, and you can choose it uh, accordingly. Yes. 